Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, is this a good spot right here? Should I strike a pose? <sighs> Should, is that good? Is that good? No? Okay, sorry. Yeah, this is an interview, right? Okay, so, um, you want me to talk about my character? Uh, from wh which role? Oh yeah, the stand. Oh yeah, okay. So, basically my character is like the best. Um, she's like the best of the best. Because like, you can't define her. You know, like there's no defining her. She can't even define herself. I played the role and I can't even fucking define her. Define. What does define, what does that mean? What does define, what does define mean? Define. It's a weird word, right? <laughs> so anyways, my character is Sorry. <laughs> My character is super complex. She's super complicated. She's dynamic. She's got a hell of a lot of range with that pussy. And she's, you know, struggling with a really dark history. She's got a very dark past. And and um she's got a lot of secrets, you know? She's got like a like a lot of secrets. Like a lot. She's got like so many secrets. Like a lot. <laughs> My character Nadine is big fuck! God damn it. My character Nadine is big fucking son of a bitch is big well she's not big like like she's fat or overweight she's or you know like husky it just means she's big like she got a big heart um but so anyway she's big she's brave she's beautiful and goddamn it she's bisexual what she's not bisexual oh well I'm bisexual does that does that count Cause like, I play the character and I'm bisexual, so obviously the character is bisexual even if they don't want to admit it. You know what I mean? So like, even if they're supposed to play a straight person. You want me to stop talking? Oh, I'm sorry, was I talking too much? I'm so, Mr. D Mr. Director Man, I'm so sorry. Mr. Producer Man, excuse me. I, I, will, I will close these lips and I will open up another set of lips. If you know what I'm saying. Now all she does is sell some weed and sit around it selflessly She's bad with jealousy, so she can never keep a boyfriend long New Facebook status, everything is always going wrong Well, I hate to say it, but you did it to yourself Come on, Mel, at least a little bit of dignity could help I mean, shit, the truth is, and you let anybody hit it Bet you lost count No, I know it's somewhere in the double digits Yeah, that pussy's looking like the dusty divot Shove a midget up it like it's nothing, cause it fucking isn't A laughing joke, you're more toxic than a pack of smoke She sucked the dick to any average show to get a flap of coke You nasty hoe, and what makes it all crazy She's got a date, my dog And baby. welcome back to a brand new episode of Darth News Special edition, everybody hates You guessed it Rosie O'Donnell, Rose McGowan, fuck, ah, uh, Amber Heard Let's get ready to Amber Everybody hates Amber, and I mean everybody, except for maybe the few people that dislike this video. You know who you are. Well, actually, you know, I, I got a lot of dislikes on my last video. I also got a lot of likes. I got 800 likes. I know I don't care about likes, and I don't, but I, I got 800, which is, which is the most I've gotten in almost a year. I don't know what it was. I must have uh, done something right, but I also pissed a lot of people off, 34 to be exact. I pissed off 34 people. That's almost a record number of dislikes, and I think it was not because of the Amber hate. I think it was because uh, <clears throat> I made fun of Whoopi. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think there's a lot of Whoopi fans in my audience. So anyway, but eh, whatever. My opinion, not yours. Suck it up. Oh my God, but Darth, like she was like in all these Oscar winning movies. I think she was like nominated or maybe, maybe she won an Oscar. I don't know, but she was like a for real, for serious actor. Like for real, for reals. She was like serious. Yeah, well, maybe maybe, maybe she was, <laughs> but I hate to break it to you, toots. But those Oscar glory days are long, 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 long fucking gone. So fuck you, I stand by my claims, and I claim that I can't take her seriously when I watch her in a movie because of The View, because she was on The View. Oh, she is on The View. I mean, fucking God damn it. Could you imagine if Sean Hannity started acting? I couldn't take him seriously or, or, or fucking, what, what's her name? Ray, uh, Richard Maddow, Ray, Rachel Maddow, if she just started to act, or if Don Lemonhead started acting, it, 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 I get she was an actor, but she's uh, she's already tainted that forever. 
I'm getting off the I'm getting off topic. The, the point of this video is not about Whoopi Goldberg. This is an everybody hates Amber video, and we're gonna make sure I stick to that narrative. So we're not gonna waste any more time today because today we're getting right down to brass tacks. We're gonna talk about Amber Heard and why she thinks that her character Nadine is one of the best fucking female characters ever. She doesn't say she doesn't say the for like be, the best ever, but and then we're gonna talk about her comments towards humanizing the villains of the show. Yeah, she talks about humanizing the villains. And then we're gonna really uncover why this role was made for her. Why this role was fucking custom built for her. Why she was born for this role. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out real quick. And then finally, we're gonna wrap it all up by looking into this hilarious new trend that is currently taking place as we speak in the comment sections of Access's video with Amber Heard. The interview with Amber Heard that got downvoted to all hell. Yeah, there, there's some uh, funny business happening in the, uh, in the comment section. Don't, don't click out of this video. We're gonna get to it. I promise. So without any further fucking ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Oh, Applejack, hit it. All right, so I was gonna read two different articles, one from comicbook.com and the other from Superhero Hype, but after I skimmed through them, I realized they're basically identical. They're the same article, copy and pasted. So we're just gonna read one of these articles, uh, and the one I chose is from comicbook.com. The title reads, The Stand, Amber Heard on why Nadine is one of the best female roles. She also discusses why it's good to humanize the villains. All right, so this is Amber Heard attempting to be philosophical. She's trying to get all deep with it. She's trying to make you think she knows what she's talking about, but she's just pretending. It's just a bunch of words that her director told her that she memorized, and th this does not feel like this is Amber Heard's words. It feels scripted, but that's just me. So Amber says, What I think is so interesting about Nadine is that you don't know how to define her. Like, no one knows how to define her, probably least of all herself. She's struggling with a dark past and lots of secrets and a very, very complicated dynamic with a supernatural force. Like, like a super duper natural force. You know what I'm saying? Like, super duper. <clears throat> anyway, and while she is presented with this for the first time, perhaps love and humanity in the form of the relationship that she's been able to form since meeting Larry and coming into the Boulder Free Zone. She's ultimately a tragic character, <coughs> you don't say, in that you realize she's being presented with this reality almost too late. She's almost discovering this on the last step of a very long path to recovery. <coughs> abuse and alcohol rec <coughs> recovery and that there's something tragic I don't know even heartbreaking about that because we see that despite her complications she's ultimately a lonely fucking person who's just reaching out for connections and love and for a character that's only motivated by that love all right let's switch out the word love with hate and you got amber right there to the t this is this is amber to the t she's struggling with a dark past yep check uh, a lot of secrets, double check. She's very, very complicated, not dynamic in a good way, but in more in a bad way. And she's definitely got some supernatural bitchiness going on in in the amber sphere of, of her brain. I, I don't know. She might be she might be possessed. I, I don't fuck probably not. It's 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 easier to blame, you know, bad behavior on a demon, but she might actually be a demon. She might not be. She might. I don't think she's possessed. She might actually just be a demon. I don't fucking know. But anyway, uh, she talks about how, um, about, you know, how she's a tragic character. Yes, she is a tragic character. And then uh, she's being presented with this reality almost too late. Yeah, you're now being presented with the reality that your life is fucked and that nobody's going to support your movies. And it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's uncanny how similar <laughs> these resemblances are. It's like, I mean, just read this. It's verbatim. It's, it's Amber Heard on a very long path and there's something tragic i don't know heartbreaking i wouldn't say it's heartbreaking but um it, it's uh definitely uh heartbreaking for johnny that's for damn sure and then amber says she is ultimately a lonely person who is reaching out for connections it's like yes that's exactly right you amber are a lonely fucking person and you're obviously reaching out for attention not so much connections, like not real connections. You're 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 reaching for fucking clout. <laughs> You're on clout nine. She continues, quote, and it's kind of heartbreaking when she meets the end that she does. And like, I don't want to give anything away, but Nadine is like my favorite character in this. Like certainly one of the best female roles I have ever read or met and that I know of in that she is like not easy to define as a good guy or a bad guy like myself. She's complicated and she's ultimately a tragic character. <clears throat> yep, just like you. Doesn't that sound just like Amber? 
there's a lot of similarities between Amber Heard, the person, and the character Nadine. Like, a lot. Like, like a suspicious amount of similarities. <laughs> All right, and now we're over here at We Got This Covered. They say Amber Heard reportedly is in talks to play a Disney princess. Get fucked. Yeah, apparently insider Daniel Richmond is taken to his Patreon account this week to share that Amber's talking with the Mouse House about playing a Disney princess. But unfortunately, he isn't able to offer any, you know, further details in regards to which one or for what project it would be in. Though he does note it's a live action one. But this certainly is news that not many would have expected to hear. Yeah, okay, so Disney, are you going to put her in the Pirates movie? Are you going to put her as a fucking Disney princess? Like... Why, 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 why is Amber Heard talking to Disney? Fucking why? They say, of course, just because she's speaking to a studio about starring in a film or TV show for them, that doesn't mean it's a done deal. Exactly. Exactly. And that goes for this piece of intel as well. But Richmond says that she's at least had discussions about it, and it'll be interesting to see if anything comes out of the latest Amber Heard casting scoop. Now, I really don't think anything will come from it, and if something, if something does come from it, I'm going to burn down every fucking Disneyland, Disney World, Disney Studios on the fucking planet. They're all going to burn. I'm going to burn them all fucking down. Not really. I won't do that. I, I'm, I'm afraid of fire. Not, no, that's a, that's a lie. But I, I'm, I, won't, I won't burn anything down, okay? Don't, don't take it seriously. I'm not, I'm not going to go shoot up the school. So I'm not going to do what everyone thinks I'm going to do. Uh, but I think the first part of this paragraph is correct. It doesn't mean it's a done deal. Just because she's talking to them doesn't mean it's a fucking done deal. Nothing is done until I see a fucking trailer for it. When I see a trailer for it, I will, I will believe it. Until then, it's all just talk. Uh, so it's possible she could be casted. Maybe this is for real. Maybe this is maybe this is really happening. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hedge my bets and say it's it's not a done deal. So the last couple days, there's been a whole lot of misinformation being spread around uh, on these media sites, uh, specifically in re in referring to the access video that Amber Heard was uh, doing an interview for. Um, they say that it received 16,000 likes and 200,000 dislikes, but uh, that's not true. Now, this is coming from The International. Uh, also, Geo News here says the video has received only 16,000 likes while it has been disliked more than uh, 203,000 people. Also, false news. It has 1,000 likes, something like that. Not 16,000, 1,000. Why are they trying to pad this fucking like to dislike ratio. I, I don't like it. There is one that well, let, let's take a let's let's look at it. Let's look right. Let's fucking let's look. All right. So this video came out on December 14th, almost two weeks ago. It's got 1.2 1.3 million views. It has 233,000 dislikes, 1.8 thousand likes. What did I say? 1.8 thousand. That is not that is not 16,000. That is dude. They're 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 trying to uh. They're trying to boost Amber. That's what they're trying to do. Why, why would they spread that? It's like anybody can fact check this. This is so easily fact checked. Oh my God. Fuck man, get an editor. Um, all right, so now I wanna show you the funny trend that's happening in the comment section on this video. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, the top comment uh, is a quote from Amber using her quote against her, saying, they won't believe you because you are a man. She is not a victim. 16,000 likes, you get another one. Then you see again, another quote, they won't believe you because you're a man. She is not a victim. You get a like. They won't believe you because you are a man. She is not a victim. They won't believe you. Do you see what, do you, just, do you, do you see what I'm saying? Do you see, do you see the trend? Do you see the fucking trend? <laughs> now, I'm not going to waste your fucking time uh, scrolling through all 17, 73,000 comments. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This uh, is going viral on this, on this, <laughs> on this video. So, I'm, I'm not going to keep scrolling. I kind of want to just because I'm, I'm bored. Yay! So if you haven't been to this video yet, go to this video and comment, they won't believe you because you are a man. She is not a victim. Just copy paste this shit because because everyone else is. I mean, if these are all bots, then woo, man, those are a lot of bots, man. Andrea or is that Andrea? Andrea Reyes. It's probably Andrea. I don't fucking know. Um, Ethan, Alexis, uh, Jonathan, Aiden. Um, Jesus Christ, you're, you're, you're all bots. 
Even you, Jesus, even you, you're a fucking bot. You're a Russian bot. You are here to destroy Amber. You're, you're here to um, shill for Johnny Depp, all of you. All right, I'm done. So with all that said, I believe that's really all I have to say on the topic. Thank you so damn much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. I appreciate the view. And as always, don't forget to pull out. That is P-O-O fucking L. And as always, if you enjoyed my content, even a little tiny Asian penis, please consider like, sharing, and or subscribing. Or don't. You don't have to do that at all. You could... You could... You could... You... <laughs> well, I'm... You could dislike the video. Or you could just not dislike it and then leave and never come back and pretend this didn't happen. So that way you save me a dislike. Not that I care. I don't care. I don't care. It's just a bunch of clicks, you know. Don't, don't, hit, hit, dislike, like, dislike, like, I don't know. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to get inside your head, man. I want to know what's going on in that beautiful noggin. I want to know. What are you thinking? Am I onto something? Is, is this a character that seems a little too close to home for Amber? Or, or am I just trying to connect dots that aren't really even there? Fuck you. I'm onto something. Subscribe. Woo! You know, it's funny. Only my Amber videos get views. Eh. I hope this video gets at least a thousand because that's, that's, for this channel, that's great. If I get a thousand views, I'm one happy, hamp camp, hip -a -kip -a -boo. If I get a thousand views, I'm one happy camper. You know, it's an, it's an expression my granddad used to say. You know, you, you look like one happy camper when I was a kid. Eh, eh, fuck off. Suck, suck a dick. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Amber. How many, Tina, how many, tell me, how many dicks do you think she's actually sucked though? Like at one time? How many? Six? You think she could fit six dicks in her mouth? How would that even work? You'd have to have some really long dicks because they'd be standing next to each other? Like in a circle? And would she be in the middle? How would that work? What do you mean you don't know? You obviously thought of it, so you know. Well, if you don't want to explain it to me, then just, just uh, pull, up, pull up a video. Yeah, go, go to Pornhub, pull up a video. What, what do you mean? They, 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 they banned it. Why would they ban that? Why would they ban a video? It's, por it's Pornhub, it's fucking porn. Why would they ban a porn video? What? There was a porn apocalypse? Are you joking me? How many videos were deleted? Millions. Well, but, for, but why? Nobody. Right, never mind. Never mind. Just, just get back to it, Tina. Get back to it. Go to a different website. Fuck Pornhub. Go, go to uh, RedTube or I don't know. I don't know my porn channels that well. <clears throat> I don't! Just find and just go to the dark web. No, don't. You, that, you might regret it. You yeah, know, because that's a good point. You might actually end up seeing Amber Heard, you know, sucking six dicks on the, on the deep dark web. Who, kn who knows what's down there? Oh, t k no, not, yeah, I I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not looking for underage, let's move on. No, 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 fuck you, Tina. Have you ever been so tweaked out, so twacked out of your mind that you're buying $2 crack rocks, you're picking up needles off the street, hoping there's a little bit of that hair rawn left in the syringe, and you shoot it up, you, you pick up cigarette butts off the street, and you're fucking smoking the filter, you know, you're dumpster diving. Have you ever been there? Have you ever been there where you're giving $2 blowjobs? Have you... Yeah, no, where, where you suck a dick for two bucks, doesn't matter who it is. Have you ever been to that low point of your life? No, I have. It sucks and I'm never going back. Tina Applejack, if you guys want a life of sucking dick and smoking crack, be my guest. I will be more than happy to take you out to 8 Mile and drop you off on the side of the fucking road. Do not tempt me. This right here, this is fucking, this is heaven. This is an oasis. This is a sanctuary. This is a fucking, what's the word for it? Subscribe. Uh, by the way, I was looking for the word utopia. Yeah.
But you can subscribe if you want. But I was I was looking for the word utopia, nirvana, Darth. I don't know. Fuck off.